So I woke up and there was two nurses staring at me. <laughs> I was just like, you're like, hi. I was like, hello. And the nurse was basically telling me that she's off shift and I'm gonna have this new nurse. And then I remember getting sent pictures of you getting strapped on into the ambulance. I'm like, wow, this is real. Because again, I still couldn't see you. It's Taylor and Vanessa, and today we are going to be doing a mukbang, a mukbang, whatever you call it. <laughs> and we have acai bowls, but we are here because someone got their appendix taken out. Yes, that we were very not expecting. Of course, we have to tell you guys on what happened, or even you have to tell me because I wasn't really there for it, which yes. we'll get into it. Let's first talk about our acai bowls and our magical oven because we are recording so it sides turn on strawberries bananas blueberries um coconuts delicious almond butter oh almond butter is literally just like Thanks. Oh, then it looks like we have mango too, or at least I have a little piece of mango on it. I don't think you're supposed to have mango on it. I think they accidentally just put a little mango on it. I'm so excited. We haven't had these in forever. These are so good. Mine's starting to overfill because it is melting. Which fruit is your favorite fruit? I'll eat the bananas with the almond butter on Yes! It. Yay! Okay, that's my favorite too. Okay, first things first, the morning. Because it all started in the morning, right? So I woke up around like 9, I jumped in the shower, blow dried my hair, everything was normal. My dad actually got Starbucks for us. Yeah, because we were gonna film, we were actually planning on filming two videos. And day. I had to cheer private too. So we day. had to like, we had to get stuff done. The day was very busy. So I got in the shower, blow dried my hair, had my Starbucks drink, and around Around like 10 to 10 30 I was just sitting on the couch waiting for Taylor to do her makeup and all of a sudden I got really bad abdominal pain mm -hmm. it was definitely I knew it wasn't cramps it did not feel like cramps it was totally something different mm -hmm. first thing I my mom said of course is like go to the bathroom yeah because she was starting to like complain about it and we're like Vanessa is it cramps she obviously said no and we're like oh wait maybe you have to go poop <laughs> all right so like, Vanessa go to the bathroom okay so like you took Tums too after I went to the bathroom the bathroom didn't help my mom gave me Tums because maybe I just had like an upset stomach mm -hmm. that didn't work and then I finally got to ibuprofen it was too much pain like I couldn't even like yeah like, she was on the couch food. just like complaining and this started to become like noticeable too because like when you just have cramps you kind of complain about it but this started we could tell that something was a little bit wrong because you were like really complaining and I was like it. shaking my legs I wasn't staying still trying to find a comfortable position and usually with cramps you can find a comfortable position but I could not find a comfortable position to save the life of me. At what point did you know that like this wasn't something like normal? I think the only reason we went to the doctor is because we believed it was a UTI because I was having the urge to pee, but a lot wasn't coming out. But obviously when I got to um, urgent care, it was not a UTI. You went in there and what'd you tell him? What exactly did you say to like the urgent care? I basically, like I said around like 10 to 10.30, I was having really bad pains. I tried to go into the bathroom because of course everyone's like first I constipated and I was like no I tried Tom's I tried ibuprofen nothing was helping they were like okay let's get a urine sample so you had to pee in a cup yes that <laughs> was, was that definitely weird? an interesting experience <laughs> so I gave them my urine sample and basically they checked my urine sample and they're like you don't have a UTI there's nothing wrong here Ooh. but the doctor said that there is some signs of appendicitis but she wasn't sure so she was like it's up to you you can go to the hospital you don't have to I definitely would feel better if you guys went to the hospital but it's up to you why didn't they just test for it they could not test for it because it was only an urgent care all they told me they could do was get an x-ray and but I don't think x-rays would show that would it, it would not show it and <laughs> also the only thing that we get an x-ray would show if I was very constipated and there was a lot of gas and which obviously I didn't think it was that because I was not having problems going mm -hmm. to the bathroom so that's when we went to the ER so the place we went to, it was an ER, but it didn't do any surgery. Okay, so only me and my mom was allowed to go in there. Me and our dad, we stayed in the car because we, we thought like it was gonna take like 30 minutes or something because mm -hmm. we called them and they said they could get us in quick. So yeah. you and our mom went in, what was it like? So first we of course wore our face mask and yeah. we, like social distancing. They made sure everything was very clean. They got us straight in, walked in, they went straight into the room. All doctors were wearing masks and all this stuff. They first like pressed on my stomach a lot to see Ooh, where the that, pain that was. was fun. Yeah, that wasn't fun. A lot of my pain was coming from my middle of my stomach, but when they were pressing on it, it was coming to the right side, which is where my appendix is. And the doctor's like, okay, 
We're gonna get an ultrasound and a blood test. Up. A blood test? So they first did a urine sample, and then I went back, and then so they- had to pee again in a cup. Yeah, which <laughs> I knew it was already clear, but they wanted a urine sample. Hell yeah. So then the ultra lady sound came, and then while I was in the middle- Did of you see your baby in there? Were you pregnant? I did see um, my, what, what is it called? Your uterus. Yes, it's on my uterus. So then when I was getting my ultrasound, I was in the middle of doing my ultrasound, and that's when the blood test guy came in. Mm. So how do you do it? How do you draw your blood? I had to get a bunch of fluids for my, cause it was like two parts of the ultrasound and for the second part I had to have a full bladder. So they kind of like work together. So they gave me an IV. Ooh. He gave me an IV for my ultrasound, but when he did that, he took some blood too. I didn't know he was giving me an IV <laughs> at the time. So when I looked over and I saw the shot was still inside my arm, <laughs> I started freaking out. You're like, why is it still in me? And I kept asking the doctor, I'm like, how long is this gonna be in me? I want this out. And he's like, you have to push fluids inside of you to make your Oh, uh, so you didn't know you were getting an IV. I did not know. So when he kept the needle in your, you're like, um, can I take it out now? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so they got all the tests done. So it's just you and mom waiting in the room now. Yes. My first ultrasound came inconclusive, but my blood test came back. My white blood cells were up and to Ooh. the left. Oh. which meant that there was an infection. So my doctor basically said, we're just gonna order the whole thing, you're gonna get an x-ray, you're gonna finish your ultrasound, and you're gonna get a CT scan. So you knew now that you had an infection. You just didn't know it. So we waited a while for my bladder filled up. It took about two fluid bags to fill it up. And then once my x-rays were done, I had to pee so bad. They told me because I had two fluid bags, like all of a sudden I'm gonna have like the biggest urge to pee. <laughs> and I definitely did. But they made me go get my CT scans after my x-ray. So like, you know that feeling like when you're in a car ride and you have to pee really bad all of a sudden, you're like, let me pee, let me pee, let me yeah, pee. Yeah, it gets worse though. <laughs> so I went to go get my CT scan and they had to use contrast on Ooh, this. Oh, so if you guys don't know what contrast is it's like this fluid that they have to put in you so they can see color right and it, and it basically adds coloring to all your organs and stuff but when you get that it makes you feel like you pee your pants <laughs> it definitely made my bladder more full and it made it warm down there Ew! and it was so awkward and I had to pee so bad but I was doing the CT scans so after the CT scans I went and got my ultrasound done and that's when they had to press on my stomach and um, you had to pee so then it's like someone was like pressing uh -huh. you like when you're full or something and someone like presses on you and you're like oh don't do that yeah. you were in there for a long time and me and my dad were sitting in the car in the parking lot waiting the whole time we stayed in the car for like five Five hours waiting on you guys. And I was like in my bed crying. I wanted to go home. I was so over this. With all the needles and the CT scans. I was And you over. still hurt. Still was in a lot of pain. They wouldn't give me pain meds. I started, I was very hungry because I had nothing to eat. So I was getting very nauseous. There was a lot of saliva in my mouth. I was just not feeling it. <laughs> So the doctor came in here and he's like, yep, you definitely have um, appendicitis. Appendicitis. The CT scan showed it. So they called us and they're like, yep, we have appendicitis. We're heading to the hospital via ambulance. And they told us that I had to get surgery, but they didn't know if it oh, would yeah, be. Oh yeah, you told us that too. It, we didn't know if it would be tonight or the next day. Yeah. I was very, very shocked when I figured out I had to go to surgery because my You're urgent- not expecting that at all. My urgent care said that it could have been appendicitis, she said I might just not need surgery. And just get antibiotics. Because it was very early. Yeah, so we didn't even so expect it. we really did not expect it. We thought the most I would get antibiotics for my appendix. And then I remember getting sent pictures of you getting strapped on into the ambulance. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, this is real. Because again, I still couldn't see you. Me and my dad were like, all right, if they're going to the hospital, we are gonna go get them some stuff. And right when the ambulance people came there, I saw them wheeling in the chair, I started throwing up. <laughs> How'd you get into the ambulance if you were throwing up? This was did you ever Did you ever stop throwing up? Yeah, I did stop throwing up. Oh, okay. Before I got in the ambulance, the nurse was like, okay, we're gonna give you nausea and pain. But I wasn't throwing up in the ambulance, of course. Here's some of the pictures of me going in the ambulance, right? I had a big smile, I was like all doped Yeah, up. one of them, in one of the pictures, she has a smile. That's when she was doped off on medicine. Yes, I was very doped up on medicine. The ambulance ride was super funny. I was giggly laughing. <laughs> um, so wait, was it like it the 
whole ambulance ride? Were you no, the at the end I started getting um, very much pain. The pain started coming back. So what was it like being in there? Like what was all okay. in there? Like tell me all about so it. So when they put me in, I was laying here. I was facing towards the doors, the outer doors. Okay. The exit. One guy, the ambulance worker, was on the right side of me. Were and you laying down like in a bed? Yeah. Okay. And then on the left side was my mother, and then there was someone driving the truck. You were on the ambulance, I was headed back home, me and my dad rushed home, we got a bunch of back sweat because we knew our mom was going to stay. We didn't know if you were staying overnight yet, but we had to get them some stuff for the hospital. So we came home, we got some bags, we gave our mom change of clothes because again, we were not expecting this, so she wanted to change to cover your clothes. We guys got you brushes, toothbrushes, snacks for our mom. You know, obviously you couldn't have any because you were going into surgery, no. but our mom hasn't ate since Starbucks too. All right, so we get the backpacks already and we're heading back to the hospital to go see Vanessa. I finally got out of the ambulance. I went into this one room, which they told me that wasn't gonna be my like official room room. It was your waiting room. It was more like a waiting room, but it was more like the ER emergency section. And so basically they interviewed me like the other one did. <laughs> they had to get another urine sample. <laughs> why did they like your urine so much? I had no idea. Like we knew it was my appendix. I didn't know why they needed another urine sample. <laughs> we walked up to the people up there. They were waiting outside the hospital. We were not allowed in. They said, do they know you're here? And they're like, yes. And they asked, is there already a guardian with Vanessa? And they said, yes. And they asked, are you a sibling? And I go, yes. And like, siblings are not allowed back there. And, and I was only like, one parent guardian at the time. And I'm like, what? Yeah. It's been seven hours, haven't seen Vanessa since the car ride, and now they're saying, I can't even see her before surgery. Dang it, no. Cause I was like, okay, this is really bad, but I thought like, what if you die in that? Oh, yeah. Like, what if you die? And like, I wasn't able to see you. I got really sad. Um, and again, only one guardian was allowed. So they did a switch. Our dad went to go see her. We FaceTime a little bit, but yeah, I wasn't allowed to see Vanessa before, after, until she was out of the hospital, I could see her. Because of COVID and all the restrictions. They also made me took a COVID test because before surgery, they wanted to know if I had COVID or not. So we went home. You know, because this time it was like getting dark. It was like 8 p.m. or something. It was yeah. like really late. Okay, so we went home. Me and my dad, we got something to eat. We actually got Taco Bell because every place was already closed and we got Taco Bell. Taco Bell was really good. I'm not gonna lie. Taco Bell I was, was so dark. <laughs> All right, so tell us what happened after we left. What, what um, happened? They told me that I wasn't getting surgery until tomorrow because I had to wait for my COVID test to come back. So they rolled me up went into my overnight room and I started feeling nauseous again and then they told me they couldn't give me my nauseous medicine again <laughs> because I had to wait six hours and the pain medicine makes you even more nauseous so I at that point I was refusing to take pain medicine until I could have my nausea you were medicine. you were like nope no more pain medicine yeah so the next time I could take my nausea medicine was like at three in the morning Ooh, so you were feeling extra pain then oh yes so I think I did get some sleep once they moved me up to my overnight room. Did they tell you when you would have the surgery tomorrow? No, whenever they can fit me in, they'll fit me in. So let's talk about the night, you know, when you're trying to sleep. What was that like? First thing first is my nurse. I had this one nurse. She told me every hour she had to come and check on my IV. Ooh, did that wake you up? Every single time. <laughs> I think in the beginning I didn't wake up for the first two, but then I think after that I woke up for every other one. And they oh. also gave me fluids while I was sleeping. So you had to pee. <laughs> had to pee really bad. At the night, my pain got 10 times worse. It started moving to the right side, is, and that's where like usually your appendix hurts. But every time I would stand up and pee, I would end up throwing up. So you wake up and you're like, Time to have surgery today. I woke today. up around 6 a.m. Wow, well, she woke up early. I did, the only reason I woke up and there was two nurses staring at me. <laughs> I was just like, you're like, hi. I'm like, hello. And the nurse was basically telling me that she's off shift and I'm gonna have this new nurse for now. I was texting my friends, um, giving them updates, and then I went back to bed. And then I woke up to the surgeon Ooh. and the anesthesiologist or whatever they're called. The surgeon and the anesthesiologist, the big man. The big man. I woke up to them looking at me. They're like, I'm just like, go with the surgery. I was oh. like, hello. It was kind of weird waking them up looking at me. And basically they told me that they're gonna try to fit me in at 11 a.m. for surgery. So they came into my room at 9.30. They told me at 10.30 that I, they would get me ready for my surgery and they came in at 9.30. 
I was like, wait, I ain't ready. I'm ready. Please, I'm not ready. So they made me stand up and I had to wipe myself down before surgery and change my clothes. And I ended up throwing up, of course, because I was All up. All the movement, you know. Yeah. I went in bed and they rolled me down to the OR room. The, or the pre op So you're all ready, you're about to go to surgery. What was going in your mind? Like, what were you thinking at this point? So I was kind of like freaking out a little bit. Yeah, because this was your first surgery. So I was kind of freaking out. They gave me my nausea and they're like, are you scared of the surgery? And I said, yeah, I'm I scared. Feel like, I feel like everyone's nervous before surgery. So they gave me happy medicine. They literally <gasps> called it happy, happy medicine. medicine. People, happy medicine is so fun. So I became all giggly and smiley and then they rolled me into the surgery room. Do you remember this? Do you remember when you were rolling into the surgery room? Vaguely. I remember there's at least five people in there. Okay. And they were like putting stickers on me and then they had me in the oxygen mask and the lady told me, okay, you're gonna breathe out of this oxygen mask. Mm, yeah, that's, that's, time. that's your anesthesia. Or whatever. They, no, then they told me they would tell me when my anesthesia was going through my IV. Two deep breaths and then I was out. <gasps> and I think the reason why I was out was because of my happy medicine because I was so tired already that like once it literally hit you, it like knocked you out. And I don't remember her telling me that she was giving me the anesthesia. So I think I fell asleep before the anesthesia. You think you were out before even it was supposed to be out? Yeah. Like I, what's the first thing you remember? The first thing I remember was I remember asking them, have I had the surgery yet? <laughs> I was like, have I just- I did that too. I think I did that I don't too remember me. their answers because I went straight back to sleep. But no. they told my mom the first thing I said when waking up was, can I eat? Officially, the first thing you said was, can, can I, I eat? eat now? Yeah. And then they put this thing in my mouth. It was Gatorade. I was like, sip it on. I'm like, this tastes really good. <laughs> That's like- What's this? And they were giving me my Gatorade and then of course I passed out again. I was like in and out. Yeah, that's what you like are once you yeah. start waking up. So my belly button was cut and I knew it was gonna be cut. So you have one right kind of on your belly button. Yeah, and then one below it and then, and then one, one on the, the left. left. I saw the cut below my belly button. So you saw this one. Yeah, and I thought that was my belly button. So you I started crying. <laughs> you thought you lost I lost belly my belly button. I was like, oh, I lost my belly button. <laughs> And the nurse like, yeah, she's been the whole ride here. She was pulling up her gown, kept checking on her belly button. <laughs> and you were like, okay, so you were naked under your gown. Yeah, and so I was flashing everyone. She was just flashing everyone. So because I guess what I was thinking was you didn't pull it up all the way to see your belly button. You just pulled it down to yeah. your to this and you thought you lost your belly they button. They told me multiple times I was pulling up my gown on the ride back to my room. And so I don't remember that, but the time I do remember pulling it up was when I started crying because I thought I lost my belly button. I don't remember how long I slept for, but I remember I slept. How were you feeling? I felt fine. I felt like a new did woman. You, did no you, pain. I never appendix left. I never had any pain meds after surgery. All right, so you took your nap, and it was to the point where we didn't know if you were staying the night again or if you were leaving. Mm -hmm. So like, what like what was the process? Did you have to do things or like? So when I when I woke up from my nap, there was chicken broth and jello there. I was like, chicken broth and jello. I'm like, I'm kind of hungry. Oh, and huge rail. So I, cause you haven't ate probably in like no. more than 24 hours. I think it was like 30 hours. Yeah, so I stood up and so I was in barely any pain, but when I went to go like, I had my IV in my left hand and I'm a lefty. So, but my IV was still in me. Oh, I had to eat it with my right hand and it's like a spoon and broth. I was like, <laughs> shake it. And so I had the smart idea. I took my straw. <gasps> and no, you did it. My chicken broth and just You it. drank your chicken broth. Oh my God, and I thought it was so good. I thought it was the best thing in the whole I bet you haven't ate in like 30 hours. Also, my shoulders were in so much pain because they filled my stomach up with air. Next, I had to go to the bathroom. So I called the nurse. I went perfectly fine, no nausea. I was so happy. Oh yeah. I was like, oh yeah. And then that's when my mom told me I had to complete those four things. I didn't even know I had oh, to. Oh, you were just doing these for I fun. I was just doing them for fun. I had to do them, so I did them. So then she told me I had two more completed, but I didn't want to like push myself too hard. Yeah. So I took a rest and then. Cause you didn't want to get nauseous cause if you did, you would have to wait even longer. Yeah. So what was the third thing? Third thing I did was eat my goldfish. Was the goldfish good? It was all right. The chicken broth was still a lot better. <laughs> I love the chicken broth, but if you gave it to her now, she would probably not get it. No, and I, I um, slurped my chicken broth in a spoon because I couldn't you eat it. with a straw? With a straw because I couldn't use the spoon. <laughs> all right. And how was walking the lap around the hospital? Walking was definitely very interesting. Um, I walk like a granny. I still do walk like a granny. Oh yeah, she walks very hunched-like because she doesn't want to straighten. 
Because you don't have stitches. No, I have blue. Um, I did do my lap. Everyone was like, Vanessa! Yeah, and then these two ladies like, oh my god, you look so much better. And I did the lap, didn't get nausea, so then they told me, okay, we're gonna release you. Yay, so that's when we were back at the hospital. The surprise was already in set for Vanessa, and Vanessa decided that what she wanted to eat was Chick-fil-A. So we came home. Did you know about the surprise? I wanna know this. I was walking to my room, and I was a very slow walker, but I saw her grab the camera and start running <laughs> to my room. I was like, oh, I know what's She's happening. She's a granny. That was the story of you and your appendix. Yes. All because, guys, all because she didn't wanna film two videos that day. <laughs> That's our joke. That's our was... joke, is that Vanessa didn't wanna film yeah. two videos that day, so she's like, eh, I could lose my appendix. Yeah. All right, so we're all cut up now, so what's kinda going on right now? Like, restrictions, how you feeling right now? All right, so. So my restrictions are that I can't cheer for two weeks, but I'm happy that I can do conditioning skills Just not like jumping and stuff. Yeah, so I can still condition with my team. You so. just took a shower today How was that? Was that hard? That was definitely interesting kind of hurt I can't take a bath for two weeks can't go swimming for two weeks I'm on no diet restrictions, which I was kind of surprised on that. Do you feel the glue together? Um, I don't hurt that bad where I don't I not really taking pain medicines, but of course after surgery I started having period cramps. So <laughs> that's, that's great. That definitely hurt way more than my surgery, my period cramps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang and Vanessa talking about her appendix story. So if you guys want to see yesterday's videos, you'll be right over there. And if you want to see more videos like this, it'll be right below there. And we'll see you guys over there. Bye. Bye.